so I just got this new hair tool. This is the Shark Air Wrap, I think it's called. I don't even remember what it's called. Flex Zone. <laughs> got it recently i had to go on a trip and i just packed it up real fast i didn't know how to use it so for the first couple of days my hair looked whack but i've used it about five times now and i think i'm starting to get the hang of it so it comes with just like this thing and then a bunch of interchangeable like wands almost a barrel brush a sided barrel almost like a paddle brush this and then take out the top this Rotate. And this is kind of like a knockoff for the Dyson, but a lot of people are saying that this is pretty like comparable to it. So it's about a third of the price, I think. It also comes with a hair dryer attachment and then a round brush attachment, but I've been using this attachment specifically. But I wanted to do a quick little kind of tutorial slash um, first impression on this because it is kind of for me at least it took a while to get used to uh, using so yeah my hair is still a little bit wet but that's what I like about this device versus like a curling wand is you can use it and get your hair dry pretty fast and there are different functions below so that way you can adjust the heat and do like a cool dust as well so that's really nice I'm gonna go ahead and section off my hair. I feel like that just helps a lot just to work with smaller sections. One of the biggest things that I was like not realizing at first is you just can't take a chunk of your hair and just like have it wrap around and be fine. It should be smaller sections in order for it to stay. And using a hair primer, that's also super important. I think that if you don't have any product in your hair, it's almost like the hair is too dry for it to hold. And obviously you want to use some sort of heat protecting um, just because we are using heat. I recently got my hair done in layers so the way I style it had to kind of change. I used to just curl my hair but I did want to have more of that blowout look at home so figuring out kind of like how to do that has been a work in progress. Okay, so like I mentioned, I sectioned off my hair and then using about a one and a half inch section, it's going to be tempting to use larger sections, but I promise you that it just looks better and stays longer when you don't do that. And the direction in which your hair gets pulled in by the tool, there's an arrow on the barrel, but for some reason I have a hard time <laughs> remembering this. But once I figure it out, I go ahead and repeat that with the rest of my hair and I'm curling in an inwards motion holding the tool vertically and this creates kind of like that barrel curl look that you can get from other tools but this is by far the easiest and fastest way I think to curl my hair I've been really used to using wands so I feel like it's kind of like a wand but faster and a little bit more forgiving so once I've done that section I go ahead and finish the rest of my hair all in the same direction and this is what it looks like all right so I pretty much I guess would you call it curled I'm still trying to figure out which way I want to part my hair but it's styled like this because it kind of wants to fall off center sometimes. All right, so now I'm going in with a texture spray. Like this is okay too, I don't know. Should I do it to the side like this or in the middle? It's like the hair theory, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Left side, middle, and then just also I want to mention the products that I use because I used them in the video but I didn't really like tell you guys what they were. The heat protectant I've been using is the Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later hair primer. I got this in a PR bag. Um, I didn't really like do much research but I really really like it protecting and smoothing and overall hydrating before doing your hair so I've obviously used quite a bit of it so I, I really like it. Another hair product that 
I love is this IGK Beach Club Volumizing Texture Spray. I think it just adds a lot of volume. It is a little bit drying, so it's something to keep in mind to also use some sort of um, serum or hair like finish oil. So I like using the Sol de Janeiro Nourishing Hair Oil, which basically helps fight any frizz that might come from uh, texture sprays. This smells amazing and this smells like, I love everything Sol de Janeiro, the lotion, the uh, sprays. This is the signature smell that those come in. Um, so anything that smells good in my hair and works well, I'm like all about it. This is like my third bottle of this. And as a hairspray, I'm not very picky when it comes to hairspray. I found that almost like drugstore brands can be just as good as the more expensive ones. So I just got like this Aussie one that I've had for a while. It's like this much left. And then another heat protectant that I just forget to use sometimes, but I do like using is also by IGK. This is the Good Behavior Spirulina Protein Smoothing Spray. It has a keratin-like treatment and it's 450 degrees heat protection and frizz control. And this, I like to spray just before I style my hair, like the keratin treatment's kind of nice, it's smoothing. I gotta keep remembering to use this, but I wanna mention it because it is a good product. All right, thanks for watching today's video. I hope that you liked it. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.